Hi friends, this is Diana with WorkWithDiana.com and in today's video I want to go over um, whether or not you being in the network marketing or direct sales um, industry, if you have restrictions um, on how you can market your product and services online. Um, what I find with a lot of people that are in that industry, they a company, you know, you get into the company, you love the product, and you know, somewhere along the line, or even in the beginning, you find out they don't have the tools to help you uh, market your product online. You know, it's a lot of offline things that you can do, with, there's nothing wrong with that, but you also want to take advantage of marketing the product online. A lot of companies do not provide that. Um, they don't provide teaching for that or if they have tools they're very limited and a lot of the companies put restrictions on what you can and can't do in terms of that product or service. Uh, one thing you want to remember is that when you sign up with these companies you are the representative for that company so you are actually the marketing tool for them to make money and then you in turn make money so let me say that again you are the marketing tool for their product so if they have a product you're excited about it that's great and they, they're great with that but you are the marketing tool for them so they may not market it that's why they have you the distributor to market it and then you in turn tell people about it and then put it out there that makes them money which in turn becomes your commission so when you have companies that put a restriction on you as to what you can do, it kind of defeats the purpose of, you know, getting sales. So you have to be creative on doing that, especially online. So I don't knock if a company has a restriction, but there are ways around it. So it's a win-win situation for them and for you. Uh, the formula to do that so that you can market the product online is threefold. You want to brand yourself. And I know a lot of people hear people say, you know, brand myself, brand myself. Well, how do I do that? The focus of the product has to be you. People have to see you with a product. You have to be a product of the product. So obviously, you've used it at one time and it was great, but you have to use it, show results from it, so that people can then uh, find out more about it from you. And again, there's tools and ways to do that online. Um, brand yourself. Um, definitely show curiosity about this product and I've said that in past videos before you you actually using the product you don't illustrate or talk about the company name um, the you know the container or whatever it is this thing comes out of and this goes for any company you show its benefits you show the use of the product without a camera feeling the name if you're doing that online and you're putting that out there, people are going to be curious. The other thing you want to do is get a, a blog and have an email list. Some companies do provide you with a way for you to capture emails. Um, some don't. Um, a lot of people do them by hand using their personal email um, system, whether it's Gmail or Yahoo, and that's um, slow and monotonous and tedious to use. You want a list so if you have people that are curious about it, now you have a way of communicating with them often about your product and why use a blog because again the things that you're going to be talking about in regards to the product without revealing the company in any way that's your landing board that's where you send people so they can say oh I want to learn more you send them there then they say how can I buy it and then they either come on your list or they make a sale or they can become partnered with you um, and then you just rinse and repeat that process. So it's the same thing. You continually brand. This is something that you got to do consistently. You don't do it one time and then the floodgates open. You have to do it consistently. I've had to learn that myself. Um, being in the um, company that I'm in, it's not a one-time deal. It's an everyday thing. It's, it's, as often as you want to get paid for having that product, that's as often as you want to put this information out there about what you have. So I hope this helps somebody because I know I've had conversations with other people that, you know, Sally Joe can't do this because it would cause a lawsuit for the company. But if Sally Joe is the representation of the company and benefits, then that company wins as long as you're not altering the product. 
you're, you're, you know, you're offering to other people, then, you know, then you're, you're good. If this was a value to you, definitely like it, share it with others, because I'm sure people on your team would like to hear some insight about it, because people get confused on these things in their company, if your company hasn't already given you rules on how to do this. And then, um, definitely get in touch with me on Facebook, on my, um, uh, Facebook fan page, which is marketing tools you can use and send me a Facebook chat and we can talk further about uh, different ways you can help to brand yourself and your products in network marketing, direct sales or whatever business that you have. If you want to sign up for our newsletter, you can go to workwithdiana.com for slash newsletter and we send out information about things that, you know, I come across that could possibly help you um, further your marketing strategies online. So until the next video, have a great one.